Hey, I want to start off by giving all glory and honor to our power, our Heavenly Father, whose name is Yahweh, right? And the Heavenly Son, whose name is Yahweh Shai, whose name goes across the earth right now as Jesus Christ, right? But we up here call him the Hamashiach, Yahweh Shai, the Mighty One, our Warrior, right. our Savior, our Lion that's coming, the Redeemer of Israel, right? And we are the servants of Yahweh. That's why we are Yahweh's camp. So I want to start off by saying, I call hello Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shabbat and a mighty shalom and salute to all of the Akim that go out on the highways and the byways to preach this gospel in the last days, man, and to raise up Jacob, man. Our mission is to come out here in the last days and raise up the seed of Jacob. The scriptures say that it shall be a light thing for us to go out on the highways and the byways and raise up the seed of Jacob. We don't come out here, you know, to raise up you other nations. You other nations should be raised up enough in your captivity, right? I mean, in your rulership right now, right? We are people that's in captivity right now. So we are people that are of lower state, right? The Lord took our rulership and our kingdom from us and put us in captivity. But that's what you nations don't understand, right? So the men, of the, the men of the Lord come out in the last days go to speak the truth, right? To tell you nations that, hey, you got to serve the children of Israel in the last days, man. That that's your mission. If you think you're going to go right to the Mashiach and Hawashai in the last days, you are sadly mistaken. Your nation must be judged, right? Just like the children of Israel was judged, and we're going to be judged again, right? As a nation, right? The Lord is going to start at us first, right? Well, we come out here, man, on this time of the year, man, to blow the trumpet for our people. To blow the trumpet for, the, you know, the children of Israel, for Zion, man. And that's what we only come out here for. So let me get the book of Isaiah, chapter 58, verse 1. Let me get Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 5, verse 1, real quick. Hey, sister, how you doing? You believe in the Bible, sis? Come on, come deal with me real quick, sister. Right? That club not going nowhere, sister. All right? None, right? None. That, you, you know, that's all right, though. We'll see on that day if you're going to walk around here with no panties, okay? The Lord is going to judge the women of this nation, man, that's unruly and want to walk around here, you know, dressed abominable in the last days, man. All right? Your time of, your time of fun, your time of hoarding, your time of laughter is coming to an end, man. War is on the brink, man. If Y'all y'all have no clue. We. Right? It's the book of wisdom of Solomon, chapter 5 and verse 1. Then shall the righteous man stand in great boldness. And that's what we do, man. You look in that righteous men up here that seek to serve the Lord in the last days and to put off the filth of this flesh. That's what you other nations don't understand when you come up here. That's why the heathen want to come up here, right? They're really astonished at our doctrine because it's different from anything that they've ever heard, man, right? That's why they want to come up here. They want to learn a little bit. Hey, you believe in the Bible? All right, well, that's good, right? But you're going to go into captivity anyway, okay? All right, read. Before the face of such have afflicted him. As who? As, of such as have afflicted him. And that's what we do. We standing up here bold in front of all those that have afflicted us, right? All of those that had their hand in the rape robbed and murdered of our beloved ancestors, man. But you know what? That blood is going to be redeemed in the last days, man. The Lord is raising up a mighty nation, man. A warrior kingdom, right? That's going to put you nations. All right, go ahead, man. No, no, we're not doing that, okay? You got a question? Do you? All right, that's cool. What's your nationality? You're Hispanic. Do you believe in the Bible? You do? All right, who's your, who's the, who's your savior? Is God for everybody? He is? What scripture shows that God loves everybody? Okay, you're not that in tune? What, what, hey, you say you're Hispanic, right? What is, what does Hispanic mean? It's a nationality that means you're the property of Spain. Are you the property of Spain? You would think so? But your people was, was, right, they, they was ruled by Spain, right? And the Spaniards, right? So why would you uphold to that nationality? 
Right, so like us, right? Was we was, was, was we put in the captivity as well? Was our people co uh, was our lands colonized, right? We was, right? So so we was put on slave ships too, right? All right, we was, right? All right, so when you look at this right here, right? And you look at what happened to these people, right? Do you see do you see this right here? Did some of this happen to your people? It did? So why would you continue to call yourself a Hispanic? Ignorance, that's good. I like that answer. I like that answer. That's great. No, no that's great, right? Let me get Deuteronomy uh, 1 and 1 real quick. And that's good. You got a few minutes? Let me show you what we're doing up here, right? We, we, we were, we've, been, we've been commissioned, all right? We've been commissioned in the last days to come up here to raise up the seed of Jacob. The Bible says, right, that their spirit shall bear witness with the spirit of God, right? So if you can identify yourself within this book, right, the prophecies that's listed in these scriptures right here, then that will show who you are in your lineage, right? That you may not be an Hispanic. You may not be a Spaniard, right? You may come from the seed line of the Aztecas, right? The Mayans, right? Those that went and those of your ind indigenous people, right, that was meant to rule this earth. You understand that? Read this. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 1, verse 1. These be the words which Moses spake unto all Israel. So this is what we do, right? We come out here to speak the words like Moses did unto all Israel, right? That's what we come out here for. We don't come out here for all of the folly and the madness, right? But we're entertaining for truth's sake, right? But we come up here to wake up those souls that really want to, you know, do you believe in this right here, being a Hispanic? Is that is that the true image of um, of God? You don't know what this is right here? I see. All right, so look, right, what we're going to do? Hey, yeah, stand right there. Hey, Jesus Christos. Uh, yeah, yeah, no blind, all right. So what is it, right? Negro, right? You believe it? Hey, let him deal with it, man. Come on, now, don't run them all. He's speaking truth. So hold on, bro. hold on, hold on, real quick, right? So if you if you said you said this was this was Jesus, take the horns off. Hold on, wait, wait, wait. Take the horns off. So what does Jesus look like? What's his true origin of that So we could throw this away as trash, right? So you can tell your whole, your, all your people that this is idolatry, right? All right, so we can throw that down. Step on that, that's the devil, right? right. Step on it then. Step on the devil if you believe that, right? Oh, praises, man. Because that image is false, right? It is, right? That image is false, and that's white supremacy, right? But we're supposed to be the supreme beings on the earth, right? We were supposed to rule this earth in righteousness, right? But we fell as a nation, right? Read what you got. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 15. But it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. Would you say that we are a hard-headed people? We are, right? We the most hard-headed and stiff-necked people on the face of the earth, right? Like, you know the laws of God yourself, don't you? But we, do you keep them, honestly? Right, do you still, do you eat pork? It don't matter, just do you, right? Do you see anything wrong in the Bible that says don't eat pork? It does, right? So um, do you eat shrimp, crab, lobster, all those things too? You, all right, so look, I used to love shrimp myself, right? But I realized in the Bible that I can't I can't eat that butterfly shrimp with that good tartar sauce that I can whip up. I can't enjoy that no more, right? So are you going to be willing to put down that pork, shrimp, crab, and lobster that you know is wrong? And, and that's good, see, that, that's small, right? There you go, all praises, right? Because this is why we went into captivity, read. To observe, to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day, that all these curses. All these what? All these curses. All these curses, right? When you look at the so-called Hispanic, and I say so-called, right? Because that's not your true origin, right? All right? My true origin, right, is not a so-called black man, right? We have nationality, right? We are people of spirit right so when you look at us right rather if the prison rather on the street do are we connected are we divided do we have love do, do we but no i'm saying us as a whole do we have love for one another we, no not we should do we have love for one another we don't right let me get 54. the book of deuteronomy chapter 28 verse 54 so that 
the man that is tender among you. Because we once, right, had a true love for our neighbor, right? So as we come out here and we see our people in all midst of sin, it's love for us to come do this work right now to tell you that you can't eat shrimp, crab, and lobster, right? That you got to put off all amount of water in the last days, right? That the sisters that you laid out with, you got to wife those sisters, man. You can't leave them to go off out here in the world and continue out in water. You understand that? We and very delicate. His eyes, what? His eye shall be evil toward his brother. That's what you see. That's your black on black crime, right? That's the Hispanic crimes, the different games that you see going on, right? But you know what it is? It's black on brown crime, what they say, right? If we go into a color, right? If we go into the color scheme of it, right? On their terms, right? It's a lot of black on brown crime, right? But really, we're the same people. So read that one more time. So that the man that is tender among you and very delicate, his eyes shall be evil toward his brother and toward the wife of his bosom and toward the remnant of his children, which he shall leave. Would you say, right, in the Hispanic and in the, in the black households, right, would you say that we have the most single parent households? We do, right? So that's a true living prophecy for a specific people, right? It's fulfilled, right? Let me get 68. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. Stop right there. Egypt, do you know what that means? What does it mean? Uh, what does it mean spiritually? Uh huh? All right, so when the, when, when the Greeks conquered um, the land of Egypt, right? Why you got a city called Alexandria, right? It was conquered by um, Alexander the Greek, right? And we're really the freak, right? And, and, and he changed many things over there, right? But one thing the Greeks noticed was that there was a slavery and captivity that happened in Egypt, right? On the walls of Egypt, you see slavery and captivity all day, right? Read this. It's the book of Exodus, chapter 20 and verse 2. I am the Lord thy God, which have brought thee out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of bondage. So what is... What is uh, synonymous with bondage what word like if you were to put bondage in it tides right so so if you're tied up what does that mean and you're what you're a slave there you go that's good work you're a slave you're a walking slave right so that's what the scripture said read uh, deuteronomy chapter 28 verse 68 and the lord shall bring thee into egypt again into slavery again with what? With ships. With what? With ships. So when you look at that, right, our people, we already identified and you agreed that we went into captivity on ships, right? You agree with that, right? That's Bible prophecy, right? Your spirit bear witness with that, right? Hey, listen, you may be an Israelite coming from one of these tribes. Would you look look, look over here at this right here, right? What, are, what, are you, what would you identify with on this list? You can't say? Look right here, show him, show him, show him where he, where he may, uh, where his origin may be. Mexico. Where does it say that the so-called Mexicans come from? What's your origin? Yeah, but where does it say? You see that? Issachar, from the tribe of Issachar, right? Hey, that's a very spiritual tribe, man. Do you know the, the Issacharites, right? They was responsible for managing, uh, hey, hey, eyes up your eyes, brother. Hey, man, y'all gotta get that brother home, man. You know what I'm saying? Soap up a little bit, brother, all right? Seriously, man, we don't want nothing to happen to you out here, man. All right? So, when you look at, like, um, they say, they say uh, Nostradamus, right? How do, you how do you see Nostradamus? Is he a so-called European man? You know what I'm saying? Is he a... Right, but they, they depict him as a so-called European, don't they? Right. What if I told you Nostradamus was a, was an Israelite from the tribe of Issachar? Huh? That'd be news to you? Yeah, that could be proven through history and breaking down, right? He wasn't a white man, right? He had the same ability that the Issacharites had, right? You see that? And that's what y'all have. Y'all have the ability, the Mayans, right? The ancient Mayans was able to calculate what? The stars and the many different constellations, right? Written all the mind walls, right? Y'all had a whole calendar, right? That's right, man. That's y'all's history, man. 
That's who you come from. So let's go to Deuteronomy 76. Let's show you, right, why you shouldn't eat that pork. Let's show you why you need to come back to your true origin and nationality, right? Read Deuteronomy. You got it? Really? All right, read. It's the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 7 and verse 6. For thou art in holy people. For thou art in holy people. You know what it means to be holy? That means kudash in the Hebrew, right? Meaning you're set apart. You're separate from all things that are unclean, right? You're supposed to be clean in the sight of God. You understand that? Read. Unto the Lord thy God. Clean unto the Lord, separate from all the other nations who are unclean, unto the Lord thy God, right? Thy God meaning your God. Read. The Lord thy God hath chosen thee. See, the Lord only chose the children of Israel, right? To be what? To be a special people. To be what? A special people. Um, you're a yes. special people, man. How about that, right? You see what the Lord, you see how the Lord visions his people, right? Read. Unto himself, above all people. You see that? She was so cocky and arrogant to say, look, I'm special too. But you know what? Hey, this is y'all's kingdom. You should enjoy it, right? Enjoy, hey, enjoy your kingdom, right? White woman and whatever you want to call yourself, right? You damn dogs. Enjoy your kingdom. This is y'all, you know, we built this up for y'all. But don't hate on our kingdom when it's coming, okay? Read. Above all people. Hey, brother, hear the word of the Lord, right? The Lord is telling you that you're above all people. Read. There are upon the face of the earth. See, many people, many of these Europeans can go by, they can fist pump, they can shake their head, they can agree, right? But I don't think they're going to agree with their slavery and captivity that's coming to them for putting God's people in captivity. You understand that? Do you understand that they're going to have to serve for what they did to us? We do, right? Read. Right, hold on, hold on. One more. Read this. Hey, brother, stay right there. Hold on, brother. Oh, all right. See that? Hey, he might be a hand mic, man, through the spirit. You see that? Read. The book of Romans, chapter 3, verse 1. What advantage then hath the Jew? What does it mean to have an advantage? Say it's un you, you said it's unfair. It's unfair. Okay, so look. The Lord said that right? it's unfair. Right, read. Or what profit is there of circumcision? Right. Much every way. Uh -huh. Chiefly because that unto them were committed the oracles of God. You see that? Because the Lord gave us his understanding in the Bible was only given to the Israelites, right? Do you understand that? Do you think the Bible was given to everybody? It should be? No, is it though? Do you know? You know what I want? All right, let me, which one? Let me get that one in Psalms. Let me get, uh, where you at? Let me get uh, Joel 2 and 7 and Amos 3 and 1. It's all good, go ahead. The book of Psalm, chapter 147, verse 19. He showeth his word unto Jacob. There you go, that's a clean cut. He showeth his word unto Jacob, this Bible. Read. His statutes and his judgments unto Israel. So that's why the children of Israel were judged, because we were given the law, statutes, and the oracles of God. Read. He hath not dealt so with any nation. The other nations have not received the true judgment from God for, for doing this right here. Do you understand that? So he only dealing with his people. You understand that? Read. And as for his judgments, they have not known them. See, they don't know the true judgments of our Heavenly Father. We serve a terrible power. You understand that? Right? Read. What you got? Mr. Booker Joel. Chapter 2 and verse 27, and ye shall know that I am in the midst of Israel. And ye shall know that I am in the midst of Israel, read. And that I am the Lord your God. What does the Bible say? The Bible says that when two or more are gathered, right, there he is in the midst, right? So he's only in the midst of Israel right now, right? We're speaking the truth of God. We're teaching our people to keep the commandments in the last days, right? We're separate from everybody else out here. Everybody else out here came out here to have a good time tonight. We came out here to speak the truth of the Bible and teach God's word and give wisdom to the people in the last days, read. 
and none else. And what? And none else. He said he's not the God of nobody else. You understand that? All right, read this. The book of Amos, chapter 3, verse 1. Hear this word that the Lord has spoken against you, O children of Israel. All throughout the Bible, we can go back and dissect it and tell you that this Bible is only for the children of Israel. It's not for everybody. Read. Against the whole family which I brought up from the land of Egypt. Out of the house of captivity. Read. Saying. Saying what? Saying you only. You only. You only. You got to understand that. Let this resonate in your spirit. You only. You only have I known of all the families of the earth. Uh -huh. Therefore, I will punish you. Therefore, I will punish you. You understand that? That's what this is. This is God's judgment. This is why you went through that. This is why your nation went through that. This is why you're walking the earth right now calling yourself a Hispanic, a property of another nation. Now you must come back to your true origin, man. What is your true origin, man? What have you been receiving up here the whole time? Where you come from? But you're a Christian, but what is your true origin that was laid out for you this day? A what? Come on, it's a car. Issachar, from the tribe of what? From the tribes of what? Israel, 12 tribes of Israel. That's where you come from, brother. Uh, uh, you know, you could be, right? But you gotta do the, the, you gotta do the due diligent search for yourself. The scriptures say to seek out your own salvation with fear and trembling, right? So you saying you're a Christian, right? What does it mean to be a Christian? You gotta be Christ-like, right? So was everybody Christians? <laughs> Was everybody followers of Christ? Huh? Right? So what did the true followers of Christ look like? You know? What did they look like though? Were they Israelites? Did they have a did they did they have a hue? Did they have a color? So what did they look like? If Jesus if Jesus was brown, right? That you say he's brown, right? So what was the Israelites? They were brown too, right? Alright? So then that would mean that we are the people. You going to Acts 13 and 1? Yes. Go ahead. <laughs> hey, that's, that, there you go. He said to the camera so they could understand this. He said when he look at us, he looks at himself. Right? And that's how we're supposed to be. But you got to see your people. We're not all one. So, so you're a Christian, right? Do you believe that Jesus died for everybody? What scripture do you have to prove that? So then why do you say that? Let me read that in Acts 13 real quick. We'll get the book of Acts, chapter 13, verse 1. Now they're worrying in church. All right. that up right there that means black you see that right there so that's all through the bible right so you got to understand you got to separate your own understanding that's what you're dealing with right now you have your own understanding christ did not die for everybody okay are you thinking about john 3 16 right for god so loved what go ahead been drinking you had a little bit to drink all right that's cool man right so with that being with that being said go ahead go ahead let me see come on go ahead go ahead give me a shot come on man come on man don't look at me like that you're speaking the word of god go ahead hey y'all sisters got time for the word of the lord or oh, y'all got time to do so come here so come here real quick come here show me you love the lord so show me come here his word no, come hear the word real quick. Give the Lord 10 minutes. See that? Our people really don't love the Lord, right? They only give lip service to the Lord. That's all our people know how to do. Uh, right, go ahead, come, come here. Come here. Come, huh? on, sis. come here. Come here, come tell me. I said, come here. 
Come in. I can't hear you, sister. Sister, I can't hear you from all the way over there. If you got something to say, speak truth to me. All right, brother, here, look. John 3.16, right? What does it say, brother? For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, right? That all them that believe in him shall have everlasting life. That's what the Christians over there will tell you and say, see, we all going to heaven. Everybody's going to heaven. But is that what that really means? Nope. Does that mean that, that, that he died for everybody? Did Jesus die for everybody? Do you believe that? I'm asking. Tell me, because you said you're a Christian. You did. All right, so look, let me get Acts 5. Who's still, you still in Acts? <coughs> Acts, Acts 5, 29 real quick. Because right? we got to prove all things, right? You can't, you can't just make a blanketed statement and say that our Lord, our true Savior, not this devil, died for everybody. All right, we don't agree with that. Read. The book of Acts, chapter 5, verse 29. No. Then Peter and the other apostles answered and said, we ought to obey God rather than men. See, we're not your lying Christian pastors up here. We're going to read it as it's written. We're not going to twist it, shake it up for you to understand it. You're going to either hear it, believe it, or not. Read. The God of our fathers. The God of our fathers. That's a distinction right there. And a separation, right? Hey, y'all sisters believe in the Bible? Read. Hold on. Read. The God of our fathers raised up Jesus, whom ye slew and hanged on a tree. Him hath God exalted with his right hand to be a prince and a savior for to give repentance to Israel. You see that? Repentance is only for Israel, brother. All right? So look, you take that car, put it in your pocket, all right? And hey, you got to repent, man, in the last days. You got to come back, all right, and not be a Christian just a Christian, but an Israelite. You gotta be an Israelite that understand what it truly means to be a Christian in the last days. A true follower of Christ. Meaning you gotta put off the filth of that flesh that wants you to come out here on Glenwood Avenue and fornicate and get drunk all night. That's not what you're supposed to do. All right, so you got time to repent, brother. While you still got time, right? Before these missiles hit, you got time, all right? So all right, brother, go ahead and repent, brother. All right, don't lose the car, brother, all right? Put it in your pocket. All right, repent. That's what we come out here for in the last days, man, to teach repentance, to teach true nationality to our people. Those that want to listen, some of our people, they ain't going to understand this word, man. And it ain't for them, man.